Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 league uh, jersey review. Yeah, thanks to the World Cup, this has to happen now in the new year. But you know, since everything is restarting, it's sometimes even nice to look at the jerseys. And League R is a very interesting league, just on the supplier side. Uh, we have probably more German brands than we have actually in the Bundesliga. We have sadly only one French brand at the moment in League R and only two Nike teams, which I think makes it very, very interesting. Overall, we have quite a few uh, interesting shirts for sure. I always say that the French League is probably a very underappreciated in terms of shirts so i'm really really excited to bring those to you as always i'm grading the jerseys in this review on a scale from one to ten where one is the worst ten is the best and now the question of course is how do i choose the uh, teams that are in each of the four videos since we have 20 teams for the last time uh, for, as for now for liga well i take last season standings and then i go one two three four four three two one and so on and the number next to each team says in which video and which part of the review it will be and so in this video we have monaco strasbourg brest angers and newly promoted ajaxo and because i sort them alphabetically by the name that i just uh, called out we'll of course start with Ajax Zo, newly promoted as I said, and we have another Adidas team in there with a rather simple stripe template. Red and white stripes, you wouldn't expect more. I do not like the sponsors above here and I have not seen too much of Ajax Zo to tell you whether they have some other sponsors here, uh, uh, some other main sponsor, but I have to say that two, two sponsors a little bit take the sh don't do the shirt well, let's put it that way. Uh, and so what otherwise would be a very simple striped jersey just doesn't quite cut it for me and I'm gonna go with five stars here. Overall I have, have to say the Ajax O jerseys are a little bit odd because the away jersey is this uh, grayish blue, light blue. Um, I do like that the crest is popping out. That is a part that I, that I like but I think a choice of colors um, <clears throat> It's not a great jersey, let's put it that way. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna go with four here. I'm sorry, we're gonna go rather fast here. I do like the third jersey, uh, doing the same thing black with gold, uh, but then the sponsors in white, and so it, it also doesn't look quite cohesive, but there's an interesting block pattern in there. Uh, a little bit like a zoomed in pattern of the 18 Japan home jersey. It makes it a teeny bit interesting, but still it is not, I, I, there's nothing really exciting about those churches, although I was very excited to see a Jacques Zoe back in League 1. Um, I, I was looking forward to see, 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 see the jersey when I saw the jersey overall. I was rather disappointed and so uh, it's another five star jersey there. And we're going a little bit further up north, a lot further up, up, up north to uh, Angers. Black and white teams are my home turf. I think one of my favorite teams being black and white stripes. But what Kappa did here, I cannot subscribe to. Uh, yes, I know this is very much what they did with Betis last season. But this time the the cut that is uh, seems to be the point from, from the crest goes really, 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 really deep. And we have a little bit of white stripes uh, below that. It looks positively odd and might I say awful, the only thing that saves it is that the sponsors are in white. That actually makes it look somewhat appealing, but overall it's not something that I'm really, really fond of. And again, I have to say, uh, black and white, messing up a black and white jersey is really, really, really hard for me. Uh, it's a four star. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are not getting out of the, good, of the medium to bad grades here. Well, finally, we have one uh, that looks all right, which is the away jersey. I actually like how there is kind of a sash that uh, radiates out from the crest in black and in gold. And I know it is very stereotypical, but I do like the sponsor. 
I really like the sponsor here, although it doesn't fit at all, but uh, there's a slight playfulness that comes with it. So I can actually say this jersey, the overall design is nice. Yes, maybe the sponsor could fit a little bit better. Maybe the other one might, might be better, but then they would have bro bro broken it up. There's something I find endearing about this one. Uh, so I'm going to go with seven here. Uh, it's a different take on a sash jersey with a very French sponsor. And then the third jersey uh, comes to me totally out of left field, but I have to say gold on red is something we haven't seen all that, all that often. Looks quite nice. Again, the sponsor here looks even, even better. I wonder what the pattern is. It has to be some local uh, lily pattern, I would say. Um, La Fleur de Lis or some, something like stylized, like the new Fleur of Fiorentina Crest. I know I have not done a serial review, but you can de definitely have. But there's a certain royal feeling to the whole thing, don't you think? That is the best one of, the, of them all. And we have also a little French flag on there that comes with, with, with the sponsor. There's something really nice, nice about it. I, I, I actually enjoy this one. I'm going to go with this one for eight stars, although it is an absolutely not at all an Angers jersey because there's none of the club's colors in there. But that one looks nice. And for third jerseys, you can do something slightly different if you choose to do so. Moving up even further north, we're going to Brest, who are again with Adidas. And again, we get a very sponsored, simple red jersey. Same template that we had for, um, just had for, uh, for um, Ajax Zo, uh, the third jersey, but now in red. It's a little bit too much. Uh, let's see about the cool things on, on this jersey. I mean, the crest, yeah, it's nicely. We have a big sailboat on the bottom, which looks awesome. Uh, but that's where it more or less ends. It's too many sponsors. And I have to say the Kegine uh, sponsor. I know it's a main, main sponsor and it looks a little bit better than it has been in previous versions because now the logo is just um, uh, in, we, 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 within a square way, which I think looks nice. Little B, it still doesn't look quite right, uh, but what may make it worse is the SIL sponsor. The Oceania Hotels, I think, is nice. Uh, Geo Entertainment does, does it really need to be, and then we have one on the very bottom as well. So, this is drowned in sponsors on a not so great template. Um, <clears throat> sorry, the sailing boat doesn't leave, uh, lift you from, from the bottom, but not higher than three. However, as always with uh, Brest, it's always the alternate jerseys that I like a whole lot better because Yahud Malo is just such a great sponsor with the castle on, on there where the castle takes over the sponsor. And that makes it cool. And then you have a sail uh, sail sailing boat and <coughs> the only thing is that Saint Malo is of course nowhere near Brest. Well, no, nowhere near, but you know, it's it's away from there. So uh, would have been nice if this was a local sponsor from Brest. But Brest Cola is a local brand fits nicely as well, Breche being of course uh, a um, the local name for the Britannia. So uh, that fits, we have still Guillaume, blah, 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 and sailing boat all there. If it now gold on white, which is a little bit odd to me. I think I would have liked it in red and white better. Um, I don't mind white and gold for Real Madrid. I mind white and gold for a small team and everything that else is, is in gold, especially a small team that hasn't won all the old much. This is, I think, where I have the trouble. And then we have also gold and white contrast issues there. That's my big issue with that shirt, beside the many sponsors. So yeah, it's all right, but it's not great either. And I'm gonna go with five, but what is of course great is always the third jersey for our fourth of breast where we are gonna go the pirate route we have a nice black jersey maybe the pattern on the black jersey plain black would look a little bit better but now we have together with the pirate ship and the great sponsors from the uh weight jer jer uh, jersey we also have the set cross sabers below or the cross daggers if you like below the crest i always like that I like last seasons a little a little bit better because I think that the pattern is a little bit too wild for my personal taste, but it's definitely the best of those jer uh, jerseys that I've seen from Brest. Um, this time around, I'm gonna go only six because I think this would look a whole lot better on a plain jersey, or if there was maybe a major crossed saber on the bottoms uh, as well, that could make it even better. 
Let's get out of the temple of this stuff and let's go a little bit more custom Kappa. It's already the second Kappa team in our review here. We're talking, of course, Monaco. And I really like classic Monaco style. We have the diagonal, although maybe the red going again a little bit too far far down. We have diagonal shadow striping as well. Itor Sponsor, say what you want. I also like it because it is a very simple logo that is not uh, inobtrusive. The one thing I am not so happy with is the monochromatic crest because Monaco has a little bit more color and on the home jersey you should display the full color. Other than that, nothing really bad about this jersey. It's a classic Mon Monaco look, maybe the one thing that it doesn't repeat on the back. And maybe the sleeves could also be of different color, but you know, European re regulations, blah, 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 they don't, don't allow that. For what it is, it's nice, but it looks a little bit weird in game. This is a white church with a lot of red thrown on there. It's definitely the more modern uh, take on a classic look. If I get a Monaco jersey, I'd, I think a, pro a home jersey, and I want to have one a little bit more modern, uh, a little bit older, or otherwise probably more to my liking. I'm still gonna like this one. at eight stars uh the away jersey very simple black with white accents per se nothing wrong it's black for black sakes uh in in a way especially on the crest where i think a little bit red would have worked quite well nothing exciting but also it's a very strong look to be honest uh but it's not as strong as the home jersey and when you go black you know see this one here that's black with a little bit of red i really like like yeah, this is almost too much black 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 and white and for me as a last fan saying that a little a little bit a little bit odd i still gonna go seven because it's just a strong look <laughs> it has to be said um not so sure about the third jersey yes we have the uh, it kind of tries to hint what a classic monocle look should look like but honestly it's a little bit wild it's a little bit wild and i'm not sure about purple and black uh as a real madrid jersey maybe we're working better than the current one but as a monaco jersey um yeah nah, nah, nah. not liking it i'm not feeling that one at all i'm gonna go four here i bet it's a little bit redeemed with a fashion jersey that has before i um that came out Club Football Shirts, Dan from Club Football Shirts has this jersey, he bought it uh, because he liked it and I can see why. I mean the colors are definitely inspired by the, um, you know, the traditional colors of uh, buildings in Monaco, a, a slightly sandstone color, then you have down uh, the blue from the wave, so I can totally see it. it's a nice pattern. I honestly think it would look even better if the um, bottom pattern was what was there and we just had the um, lozenges go down and then maybe with, with with the colors but that's my personal overall opinion then i am very well aware that this is a jersey that it will be selling wild and will be very highly appreciated i'm not so much for the fashionista stuff to be honest i rather like my monaco in red and white but i can understand if people uh enjoy this jer jer jersey there is something about the colors that is nice and it fits kind of locally with monaco as well so uh no foul no harm it is a very very nice jersey overall for me just the bottom i think you could have done this a little a little bit better because it seems a little bit detached or just kind of uh you know painted over the overall panel. I'm st still gonna give this eight stars, but but at the same time I'm saying I do prefer the home jersey. Uh, that has to be also said. And then we finish this video with the team that I am wearing here, and which is Strasbourg. Um, who go back? I mean, we had now many jerseys where Strasbourg had kind of the blue with a light blue accent, and the same thing is here. But here, here we go to a pinstripe pattern. Uh, together with the white makes it a much more traditional looking Strasbourg jersey with a, a touch of class. Uh, again, many sponsors, okay, but the sponsors actually look fine. I actually like the Jetzt gets los on the bottom of the jerseys, which means now it starts, which is a classic chant um, uh, in Germany, Austria, and, and, and so on to say, okay, the game is, is starting or now we're gonna score more goals. So they have have it have they have to have a little bit you know Strasbourg right at the border between France and Germany. So there's a little bit of that hair hair heritage in there. I think Wirt is also very uh, sponsor here. It's also very 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 much a German sponsor. So you have def that definitely. But what I enjoy about Strasbourg jerseys a lot 
is the sponsor. Yes, it is huge, but it's so simple and adding a little bit of green really makes it nice for me. Gotta say I'm a little bit disappointed with the pinstripes because you know I'm so used that there's a little bit more of the light lila blue. It almost looks too simple here. But overall it's a really really nice jersey. I wonder if the pinstripes in white wouldn't have looked a teeny bit better overall. To kind of you know make it fit with the rest of, of, of the jersey. But cannot really fall fault it. But it's maybe not, not my favorite Strasbourg jersey. I'm gonna give this a seven. The away jersey does the same thing, but uh, what's with the shoulders here? You know, just keep keeping a white mind would be nice. And then we have the red uh, sponsor, which fits with the crest. But other than that, I mean, uh, they try to do the best that the sponsors fit nicely with the colors of all of the crest. So a little bit credit has to has be given. We still have half the pinstripe. It's mostly the shoulders that make it look a little bit more template Adidas and a little bit cheaper for me. And that's why I'm not so sold on that one overall. And Winamax is not a nice, as nice of a sponsor as ES. I'm sorry to say that. And so I'm going to give this a five here. And then we end it with the, uh, their third jersey, which is a very, very dark take on the Strasbourg home jersey very dark blue i actually think if you would take this template with the kind of this wavy pattern in in there for the home jersey i uh with the same the same color see, i actually might might have liked it's a little bit better um i really like the color com 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 combination here although i think that a navy and a black doesn't really fit well but here i think it looks quite nice i think that the crest is a little bit too went a little bit too dark here um, I think if they would have just taken the center part and make this the crest, I think this would, would have looked better because this looks way, way, way too dark. Also, I think you can uh, put a little bit more on the Strasbourg Cathedral. Uh, but overall, it's a really nice looking jersey. I uh, cannot really fall for it. For, for me, it's similar to the home jersey. I think it's a workable third jersey. I'm going to give this seven stars, which ends this video. Which jerseys in this video did you like? Please let me know where you agree and disagree with me and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.